The DJI Simulator. This is on every DJI consumer drone from the Spark through to the Phantom 4. The Simulator is built into all of the drones that fly the DJI Go 4 app. And that's the earlier drones, the Spark, the Air 1, the Mavic Pro, the Mavic 2 and the Phantom 4. Now, when DJI introduced the DJI Fly app, which controls the later drones, the Mavic 3, the Air 2, the Mini 1, 2 and Mini 3, they said that they were going to put the simulator within the app, but they haven't done that yet. If you read online that it does exist, it doesn't exist. And don't be confused about a simulator on the DJI platform. There isn't a remote simulator that you can access now. But the great thing about the actual simulator is you can fly indoors at any time. Provided you've got the battery charged on both the controller and the drone, you can fly it. Take the props off the drone, you can fly it. It's great. And you can practice time and time again. Now the simulator is not easy. It's quite difficult. It's the most difficult part of this course. As you progress to the Tello and fly the actual drone outside, it's a lot easier because the drone outside is three dimensional. When you're trying to fly, fly the simulator, it's in two dimensions and it's a little bit more difficult to judge the distances, how far the drone is away from you, which way the drone is facing. But the simulator is a fabulous tool for honing your skills and if you crash the drone it doesn't matter let's look at the simulator and let's get into the simulator in real detail when you've powered the controller on the drone and connected the app this is the screen that you should see we're indoors at the moment so the ready to go vision is not showing green if we we're outdoors that would be green and we're only showing six satellites you shouldn't fly unless that's green, but this is to show you how to get to the simulator. The first thing we need to do is click on the DJI black logo in the top left, if I click on that, and then this screen comes up. Now, if you want to go back to the flying screen, you press go fly, but in the top right hand corner are three small lines. If I click on those three lines, it shows the Academy flight record zones my, find my drone. The, you need to press on the Academy, which is at the top. And this brings you to the flight simulator. Then if I press the word enter in the middle, it takes a couple of minutes for it to load normally. and then we're in the simulator. Okay. And now we're ready to go. When you finish with the simulator, you need to exit correctly because if you don't exit correctly, sometimes it will affect the connection of your drone when you start to fly again. We're going to exit it properly. We've landed the drone. This is the simulator. You then press on the top left DJI logo again. And it says, are you sure you want to exit the flight simulator? We're going to press OK. And it brings us back to this screen. If I press the top left arrow to come out of the academy and then go back to go fly, which press the go fly button, that should, should take us into the screen and should bring up the flying screen. And we're ready to go. Now, normally it will say take, cannot take off, but it, that's OK. That's fine. What we would do now is just power the drone off and power the controller off. But that's how you exit the simulator correctly. If you enjoyed this video, then subscribe to the channel or watch the next video in the playlist or the new videos that we've just recently downloaded. Bye for now.